Welcome to our lecture online. In the last couple of videos, we've seen where the image appears as we move the object further and further to the right. And we've noticed that starting from 15 centimeters, going to 20, 25, and 50, and so forth, the image was moved to the, to the right much faster and much farther than the object did. But at some point, when we put the object far enough away, when the object goes to infinity, the image appears on the other side. So the question might be, when does that transition occur? At what point does the image reach infinity and beyond that, then the, uh, the image will move to the other side? So the best way to do that is to say, for what distance, for what object distance, does S prime go to negative infinity? All right, let's go ahead and try to do that, starting with this equation. So we have N1, which is 1.5 divided by s, because now s becomes the unknown quantity. Where do we place the object so that the image will move to infinity? Then we have plus n2, which is plus 1, divided by negative infinity. And I guess it doesn't really matter if it's negative infinity or positive infinity, but when it goes to infinity, this goes to zero, of course, if it's positive or negative infinity, but at least we get the idea. And so that is then equal to n2 minus n1, which is 1 minus 1.5, divided by a minus 20. Again, the curvature, of the, ra the curvature radius is bulging away from the object, therefore it's concave. Concave means a negative radius of curvature. All right, so this here will go to zero which means that 1.5 divided by s is going to be equal to, this becomes a positive 0.5 divided by positive 20, because the negatives cancel out. So now we'll take the inverse of that. So s divided by 1.5 is equal to 20 divided by 0.5, which is equal to 40, and therefore s will be equal to 1.5 times 40, or 60 centimeters. So when the object distance is 60 centimeters, the image will then go out to infinity. If you then move the object distance further to the right, now you're going to get a positive s prime distance, and now the, the image will move to the left side of the boundary on the other side relative to the object. So maybe we should try a little, a little uh, quick trial for that. So let's go ahead and put s at 80 centimeters. So now we're going to say s equals 80 centimeters, and let's find s prime relative to that, and it should be on this side of the boundary. Let's find out, okay, using this equation. n1, 1 1.5 divided by 80 now, plus 1 over s prime is equal to 1 minus 1 1.5 over minus 20. All right, so we have 1 over s prime is equal to, this is 0 0.5 over 20 minus 1 1.5 over 80. Common denominator, 80, so this becomes 2 over 80 minus 1.5 over 80, and right away you can see that this is going to give us a positive quantity, so 1 over s prime is equal to 0 0.5 over 80, which means that s prime is going to be equal to 160 centimeters. So what happens then is, as the object moves past the 60 centimeter mark over here, then the image will go from a negative infinity all the way to a positive infinity and then starts moving back in. By the time that the object reaches a distance of 80 centimeters, the image has moved into a distance of 160 centimeters on the left side of the boundary. And that's how refraction works with a curved surface like that.